And we're back playing Magical Diary as always. Right, I actually remember where I was because of last time. We're just about to go into Thanksgiving, which lets me, you know, hopefully it'll just be like, lolly, just watch the screen for a minute. Just uh, tell you guys about a couple of things. As I said, here we are. Basically, I'm going to be holding a little Dungeons and Dragons, quite literally, like, board thingy. And I was wondering if any of you guys wanted to come along and, let's say, play along with us. It would be in the middle of the night for Europeans, so I'm not sure if you could do that. But, you know, anyone who does want to come up and play, because it will all be going onto YouTube, is more than welcome to. And that would be fun. But anyway, let's get cracking with this game. Let's get cracking with this game. I arrived back at school for my... Okay, that was a balls up pretty early, wasn't it? From my vacation, feeling slightly disorientated. It was nice to see my family again, but in some ways, they felt like strangers. Are my old friends? They've all moved on. Back to my room then. Carrot Head and Ellen. Hey, Ogu, you're back. How was your holiday? Uh, weird and awkward. <laughs> Fine, how was yours? Well... Everyone knows that when a girl says fine, what she actually means is lol, I'm not fine at all, can you please go away? Uh, but you know, this is girls, and I think that only works with boys, so let's just go weird and awkward. It was really weird. I know we're not allowed to do magic or talk about it, and I didn't, but... I was worried at first that my parents were going to ask about it, and then I wouldn't know what to say, you know? But then, they didn't ask anything. I mean, they asked how my classes were, and if I liked my teachers... Not one of them, because he, he, he can rape me, and things like that. But nothing about wands or witches or spells, not even hints. It's like they've completely forgotten. They probably have. <laughs> what? Oh, they've probably completely forgotten about that, all that magic and serious shit you probably couldn't forget. Yeah, they have. Lol. What? Well, it's all part of the same thing, you know? Outsiders aren't allowed to know magic. What if your parents went around telling everyone that their daughter was a witch? But they knew I was going for school for magic! They saw me in robes! I don't know how it works. I just know that Wild Seed parents are kind of encouraged to forget about it after school starts. Actually, encouraged? Is, is it like dangling a carrot in front of a, a, a donkey? You like, put chocolate in front of a human and just until he forgets about it. <laughs> what the? Doesn't even make any sense. Is, is that why my family didn't come for me? They forgot me? It's not supposed to make them forget about you. Just to forget you're a witch. I love... Not supposed to. <laughs> Don't worry, Ellen, you're forgettable anyway. It's easier this way, isn't it? To keep it a secret, like you said. If they knew, they'd ask. People still ask about school and everything I tell them I have to make up or change the details so it doesn't sound magical. And then I have to remember what I said. Just not too hard, is it? Every, every time someone asks what your teachers are like. Well, I'm with Snape and someone who's old enough to be my grandmother. Yeah, some people can't handle that. That's why some wild seed kids stop going home. And some of them go home and never come back. But you came back and we're glad to see you, right? Yeah. Look like Ellen's not entirely sure what of this what to think of this development either. My old classmates kept all kind of secrets from their parents, who they were dating, where they were at night, what they had and hadn't done, anal. Is this the normal <laughs> way for things to be? Is this just part of growing up? Yeah, yeah, that that is it. Most kids hide shit, uh, 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 and you're witches. There's, there's huge similarity there. Well, I won't be seeing my parents until Christmas anyway. For now, it's back to school. And here we are, back at school. On Monday morning, someone knocks on our door. Virginia <laughs> gets up to get to answer it. These animations still make me laugh. Good morning, here are your exam schedules for the day. I'm sorry. She returns holding a piece of paper. Exams today? But we haven't had time to prepare. Well, it has been a while since the last exam. We've all had that time. That's not the same. No, but we'll do our best, right? Oh. God, we've got the magic equivalent of a Hufflepuff. So I have an exam after class today. What else should I do this week? Uh, wait. Well, I was told some by someone who messaged me that red magic is pretty much pointless from now on. There's 
no real way to learn it. So, blue, blue, green, green, and I'm, gonna s I'm actually going to study for the L O L L Z. <laughs> yeah, lols. It's spelled that way. Also, I have realised. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more classes. I'll speak about that after. So, here I am. I wonder what this exam will be about. Here we go. Oh, God. Not going to save it. In the dungeon again. The exit to this dungeon has been hidden. You cannot teleport out the level. Oh, bollocks accident. Press <laughs> click. You may choose to surrender at any time and you will be retrieved from the dungeon safely. However, you will fail your exam and receive demerits. Oh, no, we didn't do that, did we? What the hell did do that? Good luck. Thank you. Um, I got it. Uh, what's around? Bugger all, by the looks of it. Open spellbook. Spirit star, light, fast sight, track, scent. Let's do this one. Professor Grabin. Hey? Okay. Track scent. Okay. Let's keep doing this. <laughs> Seems to work. I should have done this with the first or second one, it may have been easier. Heading east, okay, so he's still going east. Is this is really how you do it. Going east. I'll be chuffed if this is the way to do it. Uh, truck stamp. Heading north, okay, so that's left and up. Truck sent. Professor Grob and I heading east. There must be a secret. Really? Uh, Alright, open spellbook. Ow. Caster to view a nearby location. No. 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 There was one I swear I had. Uh, oh, this is this one. What? Really? Was it this way? Or what? They're not. Oh! Okay! <laughs> um! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How does that make sense? I was pretty sure when I came round on the map that there wasn't a wall there. That it just looked like a crossroads. And, and now I turn right and there's this. Okay, fair enough. Up we go! <laughs> that was difficult. I climb the stairs and emerge from the dungeon, blinking into sunlight. Congratulations, Ogu! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. Woohoo! Thanks. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you excuse me, I have another student to look after. I guess I can go relax now. Yeah, that was easy fucking enough. Back in our dorm room, I find Ellen muttering to herself. Um, how'd it go? Badly, by the looks of it. Very, very badly. Didn't. You didn't take the exam? That's what he said. I don't understand. Were you in the dungeon or not? I was in the dungeon. I found the way out. I just didn't use magic. How did you do that? I analysed the layout to decide which walls were most likely structurally to be false and checked them for inconsistencies until I found two walls that were identical. I was sure one was an illusion, but they still felt solid, so I decided my mind being fooled into stopping my hand making me think I felt something. So I jumped at the wall so I was hit in mid-air and my mind wouldn't be able to pull me back, and it worked. But I didn't cast any spells, so he said I d didn't count and he wouldn't give me any merits for it. Well, it's a magic school. In fairness, I mean, <laughs> for me, the wall was wide fucking open. <laughs> you know, I could have done it without magic, but it it's nice to know that I did. Oh. Well, it is a magic exam. That's not fair. I'm going to go that one. Well, that's not fair. They always say it doesn't matter how we solve the challenges as long as we solve them right. Yeah, and this fucking lollipop made out of cheese. I didn't fucking use that at all. Yeah. It's a trick. A nasty trick. I wonder how many people they can catch by not telling us the real rules. 
Yeah, you're right, it's not fair. They're doing it wrong. She stomps out of the room. Where is she going? Okay. I follow in Ellen's wake as she steams through the halls. Professor Grabbiner! Sir! I beg your pardon. Your testing procedure is unbalanced and unfair. Take a top of the head, mistress. I have no time for this. No, you listen to me. It's important. Be careful, he will rape you. She's yelling at Grabbiner? I can feel the fascinated crowds hovering around to watch the show. Would you be willing to accept attention in exchange for my listening to your little dri diatribe? Yes. I see. Carry on. You tell us that we're supposed to be creative, but you discourage creative solutions. You tell us what we're supposed to think of our to think our way out of challenges, but you don't teach us to think. All we've learned since we've been here is spells. No history, no literature, no guidance on what is and isn't accepted behaviour. And then you punish us anyway. You tell us to experiment, but you don't tell us to do it safely. You don't give us the tools to measure our progress. And you make fun of science for doing what you can't. It's wrong. Have you finished? Yes. Very well. I will see you in Saturday for your detention, Miss Middleton. He swirls his cape around him and walks away. Wow, what a nonchalant teacher. Just lol, I don't care. <laughs> Go away now. Ah! <laughs> oh, that wasn't a scream. I think I'm going to quietly sneak back to the room. Ah, right, now we're back at classes. I, I realised I've literally only played one game this month, which is Magical Diary. I'm going to keep going on. So, I'm going to start playing another game as of probably next month. But it is still a game by Hanako Games. And hopefully it will be similar to this. So, yeah, you guys can enjoy that with me. I wake up suddenly in the middle of the night. I'm not sure why. I thought I heard something. Was someone at the door? I wait for a few moments, but don't hear anything except for Junior snoring. Back to sleep then. Why can't I wake up? Why can't I wake up? Ugh, that's annoying. Grin, my jerk. Okay. Ogu, I believe I have something that belongs to you. Um, okay. She hands me a nondescript brown paper bag. I peep inside. What? Yes, you see, some of the boys are playing catch with it in the cafeteria. They found it in the hallway. I don't know how it came to be there. But there you are, safe and sound. I've had it clean and mended for you. Mended? What the hell is it? Thanks. Don't worry, Dove. What seems like the most terrible moment imaginable when you are young will be only a tiny speckle in an illustrated history. I'll see you later. Thank you, Miss Philosopher. She bustles away. But how did one of my bras end up in the hallway somewhere? Well, you know that noise you heard midnight? That was probably Damien. <coughs> well, I'm not going to go any further with that one. Stop there! Stopping there. Oh wow, that's why I study her. Huh? I swear I've done that before, and it's ended in stress. On Saturday morning, the mail and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? Well, it's fucking what I can do with $14, so let's study! The library is fairly quiet, but familiar faces are still present. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, well I've got 30 smart. How the hell are you supposed to get to 100? It's one academic year. God knows. Right. Is there going to be another exam next week before the Christmas break? I don't think so. We just had one. But it's the end of the semester. Shouldn't there be a final? How do we get our grades? Ha! That's the good thing about magic school. No grades! If you're still here and the professors are breathing demerics down on your back, you're doing fine! Well, I'm still here and I've got 10 plus demerits, so we're all good! Anyway, I need to set my schedule for the week. I do. Green, green, oh come on, we've got to do some of this black and white shite pseudo later. 